Hi everyone, I'm Janelle with Tunes Unlimited and today this video is in regards to a, um, a crazy talk animator user who's having problems creating his custom character. So this is a form response. I will bring up the, the issue real quick. And basically the user's additional body parts that should be in the other angles is all showing up in the zero degree angle and he's trying to figure out how to get it fixed so i asked him to send me the file which he did i have it i can um create the same issue you're having and i'm going to show you what actually went wrong and how to fix it and just to let you know that it can be fixed here's your guy right here and he is together now he does have some other issues i'm going to point out so that as you're animating you can go ahead and get this resolved in the beginning and this is me just hitting the um the joint mass tool this you know the, to confirm the multi-angle settings but i didn't actually fix your joint mass so you're going to see some weird stuff like this and that's because i i clicked the button but i didn't go through and um clean up the joint mass but here's your guy and you can get him working correctly. Now let me show you what went wrong. This is what went wrong. Here's your file, your original file actually. And um, just so that we're not confused with all of this crap, I'm going to hide the pivots. Let me see, that's the zero degree angle. Just so it's a little cleaner. And I'll do it for just these two. Um, I'm not going to show you each angle's problem because it becomes self-explanatory after you do one. So when I went to each file, it, it looked like everything was great. Here's your zero degree angle. I'm making sure that even though I, I can tell it's a copy, but even though it's a copy, it looks like the instance was named correctly. So this one is your, your left forearm for the zero degree angle. And this is your, your right forearm for the 180 degree angle. Everything looks great. But when you drill in, this is when you begin to see the problem. So when I go inside this file and I click here, right angle forearm zero right so i go back out i do the same thing here left arm forearm zero it shouldn't say zero if you're in the 180. so to me what happened was you copied from this layer which is the external layer you're on the, the main um scene and when you paste you paste a copy of this same file inside. So even though on the outside it was renamed, on the inside it was still identical. Now to, to fix that, it's it's really simple. You, um, and in the future, what I recommend, when you're making a copy, because some of the body parts are is identical, you follow great practices. I would do the exact same thing. The main thing you want to make sure is that you get to the main layer where you can edit this and see this is drilled down in so many different layers and it's okay, but you want to make sure you get to the part where like it's, it's a group here. So that means now if I was to copy this and I'm going to go all the way back out and I go here, I need to first delete this. This is not going to work for me. Actually, I won't delete it yet. What I'll do instead is create a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and paste it because I was concerned that it wouldn't be lined up the way it should. So I can flip it horizontal and make it match up. The difference is this one here, when I click on it, it's saying group. It's not going to say left forearm zero. So the application is smart. It knows if there's an a identical symbol. So to them, it's saying, hey, all of these belong in the zero degree angle. And so that, therefore, when you imported your character in, you saw like, you know, 20 different arms and stuff going on because 
the symbol still was pointing to the zero degree angle. So what I basically did, I'm going to bring up your modified, ver well, the, the version that I modified. And you may want to go over it again because I'm going to show you what I did. These are now broken down in each layer and they're showing as shapes. And you may not want that. This is just a quick cleanup that I did to verify that that was the issue and that it can be quickly resolved. The difference is with yours, yours is still in a grouping and you can still make modifications, whereas mine's is more finalized. It's th That's the file. If you want to create different layers again like you did, you would have to draw it all over again. So... I don't recommend, I can send you my version if you want it, no problem. I can do that for you. But, no, oh, auto recovery. But what I would recommend is that you make sure you drill down to a group level and not at this level here because it's, it will remember that it is still the zero degree. It will not forget it and you will have that problem when you import it in. Now, that will resolve your problem. But the other thing I noticed, Crazy Talk Animator 2 is a big time stickler for having things lined up. If it's not lined up perfectly, you will definitely have problems. So I'm, I'm looking at yours here and there there's some items that don't quite line up right. And that will be for you to fix, but make sure you put your, um, ah, you have guides here. Let me let me take them off for a second. Make sure that everything is lining up perfectly. Like if you zoom in, these should line up and rotate perfectly. They should be lined up at an angle that matches. And if it doesn't sync up right, guess what when you go to do animation it's going to look a little off when he walks it's going to bend a little differently um it's one of those things that i had to learn the hard way after being frustrated that things didn't line up right but in this case um uh, your joints seem to be a little off if you have i don't know if you have the puppet producer tool but what you can do is kind of draw a circle. I'm going to show you how it looks. You can actually recreate it pretty quickly. So this guy right here is like my best friend when I'm doing G2 characters. When I'm doing buddy characters, you don't really need it. But when you're doing G2, this is like my best friend. And it's so simple, but it really helps you um, find out where you're your mark is when you're um, lining your joints up. So in this case, if I was to kind of copy this and go into your leg layer, if, let me zoom in for you. If this is where my line ends, that means this is basically where this should be lined up at, right? So that means the other joint the lower part of this leg, those lines should line up with this as well. And if they're not lined up, that means it's not going to rotate smoothly. When I go over to um, the one you create, created, if I go into wireframe mode, can you see the, the overlap that's going on here where... Um, See if I can get it again. The joints are not as smooth. So when it's rotating, you're not going to get a smooth bend like you want. That's the only recommendation I would say you need is to kind of make sure that um, like your arms probably will behave better. You have a nice round um, bend going with your arms, but I think you're going to have problems with your legs and just kind of looking at the way some of these line up, I can see 
where um you're, you're more than likely to have some rotation see it's not going to rotate smooth on the axis because the pivot is not in the the right spot so um i would say use um create a create a circle and put a cross right in the middle of the circle and just kind of save that as a rotation um a rotation guide for your joints the same thing with the arms looking at this the arms need to go further in and so where they're overlapping at should be wider you probably want it rotating like right here instead because once again, if I take this and try to rotate it around, you're probably going to, uh, don't do that. See, you're going to notice some problems. It's not at, it's not quite at the pivot spot. It should be that pivot should probably be further up here where the collar is at. So those are the only recommendations I have. I mean, you think you have, I think you have a nice character. He looks great. So try to do a lot of testing while you're still in Flash to avoid problems like that. And that will make your headache go away. And these things can be shrunk down to be the exact um, the exact size of your, if, of your arm if you want to be precise, precise. You don't have to have it at that exact same size that I have it at. Okay, so I'm looking at your arm and I wanted to show you one more thing. This is this is where your this is where you have your joint placement for your arm right now. And as you can see, when I go to to just rotate this arm, this is what's going to happen. And that's because it's not in the right location. Now, I could play around with this some and say it probably should be about right here. And then it looks more natural when you bend. So I would definitely advise you to go through each one of your hands. And the best way to really see your problem is to go into outline mode. Outline mode will definitely, you'll start to see where things don't line up at. When you click and it shows where your pivot is located, and it shows you what happens when you move it. You can tell that, oh, this is too high up because it should be showing a nice round edge and I'm not seeing it. I'm still seeing part of my sharp edge. Now, a way to also avoid that is just to make sure um, that both ends have a nice round edge. That way, no matter what, if you have two round edges and you lock them in together, you have a perfect circle and you can rotate them much easier. So that's my recommendation with your character. Let me go ahead and put things back. I'm going to send you the modified version of your, um, your file. I will tell you, this is basically what I did. Let me bring up your file because you, you still probably want to redo what I've done. Here's your original. I just simply went in and hit Command B to break it up. So I just kept on breaking it apart until I got to the main layer. So everything kind of merged together like this. And as you can see, the button's now not in place compared to the original location of what you had set up. So you may not want my version, but if you want to see how all the angles came back in and how the foul is back together and working the way it's supposed to, that's basically what I did. I broke the, the groups up, the extra layering up so that it got back down to just the lines. So I hope all of this helps. If you have any additional problems, go ahead and reach back out to me on the forum or you can send a, another email to Ask Janelle at tunesunlimited.com. Take care. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content 
every week. If you would like to purchase my product, head over to my store for characters, props, and scenes. If you enjoyed this video, here is a link to another video you might like from this channel. Thanks for joining and take care.